What is the deal guys, this is Mojo Siesta here, bringing you a video today about virtual reality and the HoloLens. So this is pretty much going to be a matchup between uh, Sony's Project Morpheus and uh, Microsoft's HoloLens, and now they're kind of rivaling. Uh, the thing is, is um, before I get into all this actually, I, I um, don't want to talk about DX12, I, I just don't. I think this whole thing is like kind of like from last generation. Uh, I've been saying this for a long time. This is stupid talking about DX12. I don't really care. I know it's a big PC thing and I'm not a PC gamer. So this means nothing to me really. Okay, Xbox is getting a boost. Great. Every freaking console that I've ever played in my life always gets a boost. So no, I'm not going to sit here on the microphone and hype it up for you guys on some stupid bullcrap. I'd rather talk about something that's a lot more intriguing. Now let's get into the video. Sony's Project Morpheus versus Microsoft's HoloLens. I'm going to state this as a fact right now, and you can quote me on it, that the HoloLens will be so much more success successful. And not just... Um, and I'm not ta talking about from a game aspect, because I think, honestly, from a game uh, aspect, in terms of you know, for console owners, uh, casual gamers like you and me, I do think the Project Morpheus is going to have a bigger advantage. One, I feel like the HoloLens is probably going to end up costing more, as well as I feel like Project Morpheus is actually completely based around gaming. HoloLens isn't. And I'm not really excited for HoloLens, not because of the whole gaming aspect. I just am excited for it because this is the next step for human evolution and technology. This is the next PC, for crying out loud, if you think about it. We're talking about some, some, the, the stuff that I used to see in middle school when I would watch Iron Man, see Tony Stark floating stuff around him, you know, his emails, his, his uh, car parts, whatever, when he's working on the cars or working on the suit. How easy it was him for, like, you know, uh, move things around and keep things organized in front of him, and it's all digitally through this headset that he would have. I think... I'm looking beyond the whole gaming aspect. Just imagine kids in school going to an art school or being at the home, learning how to draw, uh, creating their own art on their own uh, HoloLens, creating their own design for a car, writing down a rap sheet and saving it and never losing it. Like this is the stuff that I'm talking about. I think this this is the stuff that's really intriguing me. I'm not so simple-minded who's just gonna be like, oh yeah, video games. Well, what's this gonna do for me for video games? Screw that. What is it going to do for people? How is this going to evolve people? And I feel like it's really going to be the next thing that's going to be a big step for us. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but heck, I mean, listen, this is even if it costs a lot. That's, PCs costed a lot, I'm sure, back when they first come out. This is just, you know, eventually it's just going to become a normal thing, just like touchscreens. This is a really fantastic thing for Microsoft. I am really intrigued by it, and I am really excited to see what is next for them I'm of course I'm obviously excited for Project Morpheus I think playing games like PT and Outlast are amazing they're implementing their 3D uh, sound quality so you're here in the front the left the back the right the freaking the whole the whole shabam man you'll be hearing footsteps behind you when you're fighting enemies you're gonna be hearing creaking doors there's so much stuff like and, and, and this is why like some people say don't support VR screw it you know, like we got HoloLens coming out. I don't agree. I, I agree. So you don't know, support VR. Support HoloLens. Support whatever one that you want to support. Support whatever ones that you feel like is really going to be the next step for whether if it's gaming or just life. Um, who knows? I mean, this is just Sony taking their take on VR, but maybe they're going to take it even further than that. Some other company uh, is going to use some of their VR technology or even improve on it. Or it's not even just Sony's Project Morpheus that's doing VR. Let's not forget about the Oculus Rift. No, I think we're so we're getting so close to technology that it's finally it's finally really looking out and shaping out to be something really interesting. And I would love to see both of these projects, um, you know, really advance themselves and grow into something special. Obviously, I do feel like Hololens is gonna be much more profitable. But I don't really care about which one's more profitable. I care about you know. I care about both of them. I like both of them. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think, and don't forget to hit and like, subscribe.